Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So it's the time of year where I give you guys an update on the fleet. So right now I have the X50 which I'm driving right now and then I have the Volkswagen Vento, I have the Volkswagen Sirocco, I have the Volkswagen Tiguan All Space Outline and I also have the Safiro A31 with the RB25. So there's gonna be changes to the fleet. So two cars are gonna go and then get replacements. So the first one to go will be the Volkswagen Vento. So the Volkswagen Vento, you haven't seen much on the channel, probably uh, one or two videos, is because that was my wife's daily driver, her daily car. And she has been using it for the past three years, since uh, 2020. So I just thought of changing it up for something better for her. So for her daily, she'll be taking the X50 so the X50 is something I think is more suited for the place where she goes to because uh, it's prone to floods and stuff like that so she needs something higher so that's the reason why I decided to give her the X50 so the Vento is getting replaced with another Volkswagen and you know I'm probably the biggest uh, Volkswagen ambassador on the internet so I love Volkswagens and I think even though yeah they may be a pain in the ass sometimes to maintain and uh, to keep running but the parts are easy to find uh, and if you know reliable sources you can actually get the parts pretty affordable uh, of course they are not cheap they are not cheap if you compare with local cars you compare with japanese cars definitely quantity cars prices for spare parts are definitely a little bit more so the car which i'll be getting is something that i've actually thought about getting for the channel for a couple of years now of course the vento is a car that I actually did one when i used to own my Proton Saga, you believe it or not, my first car was a Proton Saga. Of course, I spent a ton of money on it trying to get it for a track setup. And then, of course, I did crash it. So, that car was sold. So, now back to the Vento. The Vento was a car I thought looked very mature. But now it's time to replace it with something that I think will be good in terms of investment for longevity wise because there won't be any replacements to that particular model. So, I did get a good deal on it and also did get a good trade in price for the Volkswagen Vento. So, I thought it was about time that I got a replacement because, of course, I can't keep too many cars in the garage. You know, it wouldn't fit anymore because the garage is full. But anyways, it is what it is and in terms of uh, cost-wise, yeah, we do have to give up something to get something better. So now we are actually headed over to PHS Auto House, which is the Volkswagen dealership in Puchong, to actually pick up my new car. It is not a brand new car, it's a pre-owned car, but it's very well maintained, very low mileage, accident-free. Everything is good basically and uh, I think it's a very good substitute to the Volkswagen Vento which has actually served me very very well. Served my wife very very well. It's kept her safe from even a serious accident. Anyways, we are heading over to PHS to actually pick up the car and I'm really really excited because this is the car you will see me doing a ton of stuff with it because I've actually more or less done with the Sirocco. I brought it to Stage 2 Plus with the supporting mods as usual because I do I want to make sure that the car runs well even though it's a stage 2 plus uh, setup even with my Civic which I've actually had before all these cars uh, the Civic I've actually done a stage 2 plus and I daily driven and you can watch the video I'll probably put it in the description down below so of course if you do tune it to a uh, stage 1 or stage 2 you do need mods that actually support the power that it's going to produce so that's very important uh, many people do not understand and that's and just flash a car with a stage 2 tune and say oh no the car is very unreliable the car starts breaking down of course you do not do the proper maintenance you do not do the supporting mods that goes along with the upgrade you're definitely going to have issues that's for sure so that's why i do value the supporting mods they always go with uh, stage 2 so the next car is something I'm going to be bringing up to stage 1 nothing crazy because it will be most likely my daily driver because the X50 is going to my wife so as a daily driver I think a stage 1 is the perfect um, balance between power and reliability so of course I will definitely be doing my supporting mods to make sure that everything goes smoothly so that will be something in the time to come I do have a couple of stuff already uh, ordered for the next car so definitely do stay tuned I'll be doing like a step-by-step -step video tutorial DIY review on those stuff which are coming all right guys so we have arrived PHS to pick up the car so it should be in the delivery bay so let me just get through this guard house and then we will park the car and 
go into the delivery bay. All right, guys, so here she is. This is the car that replaced the Veneto. So as you can see, it's in this brown color. So this is the Volkswagen Beetle. So this is the 2019 or 2018 uh, version. This is the final edition. So we get the latest trimmings, the facelift, lights and whatnot. I'll show you guys around the car. So these are 16 inches, which will be changed up to 18 uh, in the time to come. Okay, so we have here, see, full round tour. We do have the boot. See so right here. Show you guys around. Okay, so the key is with me. So I've just done the tin, so the tin is actually getting settled in. So it will take a couple of days. So I've actually went with Ampro again, just like with the Tiguan and even the X50. So you can see right here. Of course, the usual matching trim color to match the body color, the car. So you can see this has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. So of course I'll be using the usual dongle to make this into a wireless Apple CarPlay unit. So the mileage up is pretty low on this. So this is I think it's around 35,000 kilometers. So yeah, pretty nice. Let me just give it a start up for you. All right, see on the inside. So our ladder seat this is the spot trimming so we do have pedal shifters of course we have a seven speed dct or dsg so overall very nice let me just turn the lights on give it a look so right here the condition is almost like i would say brand new so the previous owner has actually really taken care of the car and of course this went through a very meticulous detailing before delivery as usual also done by Ampro okay so let me show you guys the engine this is the 1.2 TSI so yeah pretty small engine similar to the one in the Vento but at least uh, it's easier to maintain I would say than the 1.4 so you can see they've done a great job with the detailing looking spanking new So we do have LED daylight running lamps on both sides. Super nice. So let me just turn on the lights and show you. So these are actually Xenon lamps, not the LED ones, but uh, we might upgrade them in the future. So looking really nice so i can't wait for the first drive so we'll hop into the car and i'll show you some driving footage of this car all right guys so we are doing the first drive in the new volkswagen beetle so i'm really really excited even though i would say this is the base pack of the beetle but uh considering that this is a new version it's a facelift um i think it's overall more refined as compared to the previous uh, generations do not quote me on that but i do prefer something that is newer because just um, my experience with the vento the vento was a very reliable car despite all the the bumps and uh, scratches it had of course that was all fixed but i'm really really excited to own the beetle it's like a dream come true to be honest i never expect myself to actually be able to own the beetle uh, I do love uh, the black interior because I'm a big fan of black interior and of course it has the Apple CarPlay integration and all this uh, so I'm really really excited so this is the first drive and bring you guys along with me so of course I'll just be uh, going for a quick drive nearby and then of course I'll be parking it at home because I still do have to do the dash cam with something very important and uh, of course a couple of stuff so I do plan to do exhaust I plan to do rims brakes and of course, in the end, after everything, I do plan to go for a Revel Tune uh, Stage 1 uh, later on. Once everything is settled down and I've gotten used to the car. Yeah, so I do have a lot of things planned for this car. Yeah, not to mention intake as well for supporting mods. 
I'm really excited uh, with the journey of this car yeah to actually use this and drive it around of course add to the collection which I have next to the Sirocco so it's a really really dream come true because I know the two really iconic cars are the Beetle and the Sirocco um, but hopefully in the future I will get to own the Golf GTI or the Golf R and also the Arteon because those are the cars that I'm aiming for next at least for new cars uh, because anyways I'm a big Volkswagen fanboy as you should already know by now I do love my Volkswagens and I think overall they are pretty reliable cars I would say even though the cost to repair them is slightly more than your average car so this is all for this video I will definitely take you guys through a journey with my all my DIY projects and stuff like that as usual so I'm really really excited and I'll catch you guys in the next video